या हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ मारुती वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू राम मारुती ट्यूटोरियल्स चैनल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डील विथ ए सम विच इज जनरली रिलेटेड टू आर लाइफ एंड मोर ओवर इट इज जनरली ए रिपीटेटिव क्वेश्चन इन एवरी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन ऑफकोर्स जनरली इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एथ क्लास or 7th class it goes on to all your competitive examinations right but the levels of questioning will be different but the concept is same so what is the concept what we are going to discuss in this sum is nothing but the relation between speed distance and time okay so the relation and the formula and the logic or the way of approaching is same whatever might be the examination whatever might be the class right so i like to discuss little bit of different approaches how to deal with the speed distance and time sums so let me go i'll be telling few logics you please catch those logic so that you can apply in whatever competitive examinations you are facing okay so let's get back to this one what is the condition he has given okay if a train runs at a speed of if a train if a train is moving at a speed of 40 km per hour it reaches the destination uh, by a time late by 11 minutes so he is not giving correct time just he is saying whatever it might be the time it has to reach right but it reached there 11 minutes late suppose if it has to reach by 5 pm it reached by 5 11 pm how many minutes late 11 minutes late so 5 pm is the actual time and 5 11 is the right late time and what is the duration it came late 11 minutes so please let's read out the question back again if a train runs what with what speed it is moving 40 km per hour if it is moving at 40 km per hour right it is reaching its destination 11 minutes late let's remember the condition point 1 now the second condition if it runs at a speed of 50 km per hour if the train is moving at a speed of 50 km per hour again you check it out it reaches the destination 5 minutes late again he is not giving the time he is giving how much time or late it is going to the destination okay now the question is find the distance covered by the train what is the distance covered so so see here really the concepts are three speed distance and the time out of these three one is missing that is a common thing so one is missing the other two will be given in the question so first logic what i am saying means think about the formula which is dealing with speed distance and time how many number of variables are there which is question and which are given and what is the relation he has given in the question okay let us get into the concept now if the train and of course what is asking what is the distance travel so which is the variable here x the distance is the variable and as we don't know in mathematics we take obviously if we know if he doesn't know anything we take the value of x here what is the unknown let the distance traveled by the train be train be x kilometers so let us take it so let let the distance traveled by the train be x kilometers let the distance let the distance traveled let the distance travel be x kilometers that is the given question or what we are taking is nothing but the given we are assuming let the distance traveled by the train is x kilometers or x kilometers let's assume that with the help of a figure right let us take the destiny a beginning's initial point as a let us take the ending point as b right it has to start here and it has to reach there and if it travels let the distance travel be x kilometers that is the total distance it has to be traveled okay the total distance traveled by the train be x kilometers here before getting into the concept let me deal with the formula which is explaining us regarding the uh, speed distance and time let me discuss everyone knows that and this is the important one which everyone should know the what's the formula we are supposed to discuss in this one 
or what we all know is nothing but speed is equal to distance by time. This is the formula what we are supposed to face. Speed is equal to distance by time. But, but generally if you check it out, out of these three, right, what is the main concept he is giving the clues for us? What are the logics he has given? He is dealing everything in terms of time. He is giving everything in terms of time. After what the Koda? Time ki sambandhinchi anni concept lo chepad. Mana formula, speed is equal to distance by time. Mood concept lo na speed, distance and time. Okay. Aite, samu main ga ye concept mida linche sundi. Time mida linche sundi. Kotsa concept e pura link ok hai. So, one pura time ke saat one discuss kara. So, apan mainly a formula ko time ke saat se convert ke lena. That is the first logic what we have to remember. Right? So, as the given question is dealing entirely in terms of the time, let us convert the formula also in terms of time. So, I like to transpose this one here and bring back that one. So, time is equal to distance by speed. Time is equal to distance by speed. I have changed the known formula according to the requirement. So, that's what I have changed the required formula in according to the R requirement. Man, get like a wali, ye concept me that you get a concept se repucha, ure pura time case up se back kara. Isri upon me upon formula ko time case up se upon badali ye. So, let us, this is the distance traveled by the train is x kilometers, and the formula what we are discussing is good speed is good to distance by time, and according to R requirement, I have changed the formula in terms of time. Now, let's go with the case 1. What is the case 1 he is discussing about? Right? So, the case 1, what we are discussing is nothing but we are talking about the first train. With what speed it is going and what is the distance it has traveled and how much late it is. If you check it out, the distance traveled or the speed with which it is going, speed of for right in the case one what is the speed the speed it is following is nothing but according to the question it is nothing but 40 kilometers per hour the speed with which it is traveling is nothing but 40 kilometers per hour and what is the next one what is the time it took the time is he talking about anything? If the time with the speed or the time what it is uh, talking about is nothing but 11 minutes late. As we have already discussed about the speed, let us convert in terms of the time. Let us convert in terms of time. As we all know, time is equal to just now I said D by S. The time, just now I have converted the formula. I am using this formula in terms of case 1. Okay, so time for the first train or let us take it as time 1 and here also speed 1 first case and here also first case. So here if you check it out, what is the distance travel? Obviously the distance travel is nothing but the x and what is the speed it is going? It is going with the speed of 40 and what we are talking about? We are talking about the time of the case 1 or in the first situation when it is traveling at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. So as the time it is nothing but hours. Okay, okay. What is the speed in the first case? It is traveling at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. What is the time taken? General time according to the first case when it is traveling at a speed of 40 kilometers. That is distance by s. Distance is x and the speed is 40. Of course, we deal in terms of kilometers. You may ask me how you got that kilometers. If you check it out, distance is nothing but kilometers, right? And the speed is nothing but kilometers per hour. Right? I can cancel the kilometers and kilometers and if you transpose the hours is the units are nothing but the hours. Right? That is how we are getting the units also. Here in this case let us remember one more thing. How many minutes it has come late. Now let us take it as important one. Late time. Late time, he says, how many it has reached late? 11 minutes. Let's just, uh, let us uh, remember that one. Okay, guys, I'm set with the first situation. Right, right, the distance travel is X kilometers from A to B. 
What is the formula we are discussing? Speed is equal to distance by time. But our requirement in the sum is everything is dealt in terms of time. So I have converted the formula in terms of the time. Time is equal to distance by speed. Now I am taking everything in the terms of case 1. Right. If the speed of the train 1 is 40 kilometers and the time taken by the train 1 is nothing but x by 40 hours and the later time it has reached is 11 minutes. Okay. Now let us go for case 2. Let us go for case 2 now. So let us take the second situation, second scenario. So what is the speed? Right, speed 2, according to the question, what is the speed it is traveling? It is traveling with 50 kilometers per hour. That's the one. Now, time, how much it is taking? Time 2, as we have seen. Right, right, okay, okay, that's, we are not discussing about late time. We are discussing about the general time. Of course, we are dealing with the formula, distance by speed. Distance travel is x kilometers and the speed just now it is discussed as 50 kilometers per hour all right so as usual we are cancelling the kilometers and and how much what is the time taken is nothing but x y 50 hours okay now what is the later time what is the how many minutes it has came late later time Later time, according to the question, it is nothing but it says 5 minutes. 5. Okay. So, now let's, the sum has come to a situation where we are supposed to think logically. Right. What is the relation we are having? Right. If you check it out, two types of timings are given here. Right. First one, actual time of the two trains. Yes. And late time of the two trains, two things are given, whatever it might be, time is the same, right? But whether it might be later time or general time, suppose, suppose assume that he has given how many minutes it has come late, what is the total, what is the difference of the late time? So let us calculate, let us calculate the difference of the late time, how many minutes it has come late, difference in late time okay let us see earlier how many minutes it has come late in the case one right right it is nothing but 11 minutes and in this situation how many minutes it is coming late five minutes okay so late time right earlier it came came 11 minutes late now it came five minutes late what is the difference what is the gap between that time in terms of late time if you check it out it is nothing but six minutes right now we are supposed to think logically now now again one more time is there right this is the actual time suppose you assume that it has to reach the train has to reach in the case one case one it has to reach at 5 pm case one right but in the case one it has reached at 5 11 pm in the case one in the case one it has reached at 5 11 pm in the case two it has to it is reaching at something like 5 6 pm let us assume that now this is case one and case two what is the difference right actual time difference is also five minutes right actual time difference is also five minutes and the later time difference what he has given directly in the question is also five minutes so there is a relation both are equal actual time is actually it has to reach at five let's assume that in the first case as it is traveling the speed is less right it is uh, it is reaching at 5 11 late by 11 minutes in the case two as it is traveling little bit speed 50 kilometers per hour it has reached late but little bit less late that is 5 6 pm the gap between them, if you check it out, it's nothing but 6 minutes. And here also, the gap is nothing but 6 minutes, right? So, now, this is our assumption, right? In this assumption, let us go, right? Here, in this case, it is nothing but x by the actual time. This I have given as calculation. Here, it is nothing but x by 40. This is the time. And here, it is nothing but x by 50. 
right this is the assuming time but this is the actual time what we have calculated in the sum so the difference between these two is nothing but the difference between these two let us come back to the concept now so the, let's come to the formula we know that right we know that what is the concept we are discussing late time difference in late time difference in late time that is nothing but this late time equals difference in actual time right this is the actual time so we have already calculated what is the late time it's nothing but six right and what is the difference in the actual time this is the actual time when it has reached in terms of distance and speed and this is the actual time it is reached in terms of distance and speed so if you check it out x by 40 minus x by 50 okay but with the, here comes the tricky part here it is in terms of minutes okay and these two as i have shown they both are in terms of hours h r h r they are in terms of hours but here the sum is in terms of minutes now let's calculate the, the convert the minutes into hours so how many hour how many minutes is equal to one hour so it is nothing but six by sixty hours so i have divided with the number of minutes it has one hour has 60 minutes. So, to convert from minutes to hours, I have divided by 60, which equals x by 40 hours minus x by 50 hours. Right? Now, the calculation part, now everything is set. Equation is set for us. Now, it is nothing but our calculation part. If you check it out, if you check it out, 6 ones and 6 tenths, Okay, now what we are having, 1 by 10 is equal to x by 40 minus x by 50. Of course, of course, the hours here and the hours there, we can cancel it out. So, units, we are cancelling. Okay, so now what is left over? 1 by 10 is equal to x by 40 minus x by 50. Okay, now there is one more trick. Here also, everything is in terms of tens. Everything is in terms of tens. Ten, ten, and ten. Let us cancel the tens there. We can go ten ones, ten fours, ten five. So, one by one is nothing but one is equal to x by four minus x by five. Okay, now it's the simple calculation part which we are supposed to find it out. 1 is equal to, if I take LCM, it's nothing but 20. 4 goes 5 times 5x minus 4x, which equals, if you cross this, it's nothing but 20. It's nothing but 5x minus 4x, 1x. Okay, so therefore, x equals 20 kilometers. Distance travel by train equals 20 kilometers there we go guys that's the relation what we are set according to the sum simple let's recall the sum the question says case 1 40 kilometers late by 11 case 2 50 kilometers per hour speed late by something like five minutes what is the thing the what is asking distance travel first assume it as a variable x kilometers now what is the formula what it is linking speed is equal to distance by time but here everything is converted in terms of time therefore convert the formula in terms of time so time is equal to distance by speed now come to the case one speed is 40 right time actual time is x by 40 uh, hours right time and later time is 11 minutes in this case speed is equal to 50 kilometers per hour Time 2, raise distance by speed, x kilometers by 50 kilometers, cancel x by 50. Difference in the time is x 6 minutes. And here also, the tricky part what we have to remember is time in terms of late, time in terms of actual time. Difference is same. Therefore, I have set the equation in this way and I have solved it and I got the distance 
travel by the train in both case 1 and case 2 is 20